Helena Phoenix here. Um, I wanted to uh, point something out about a um, very important topic, which is healing, which we hear that a lot <clears throat> about healing and the healing journey and emotional healing and all that great stuff. But something that's really overlooked is uh, discussing the hypothalamus and what, what is the hypothalamus when it comes to true healing, so healing from abuse or trauma. You know, it's it's one thing to talk out your problems with a with a trained professional, which is probably important for a lot of people. But there's also another aspect of healing that's really important that needs to be focused on. I don't think you can do one without the other. Um, and that's the hypothalamus. That's a structure that's very deep within the brain. And it's the endocrine system and the nervous system. And what happens when uh, people go through trauma or um, depression or um, shock in the body, which can sometimes be just be a daily way of living for most people, you know, just live that way, um, it is uh, your nervous system shot. And uh, you've got to keep your hypothalamus healthy and that keeps the body in a state of homeostasis. And I would argue that most people aren't in a balanced state of homeostasis in the world we are today. That's why there's so much encouragement going to the gym and self-care and taking care of yourself, taking care of your body and all that because gut health and brain health are very much linked. So the reason I'm talking about this is because uh, I have about six months ago discovered the power of amino acids. Now I'm sure everyone's heard of what amino acids are. Amino acids are in food. They're a pro protein building block. All that. Superficially, everyone's heard of amino acids. However, what people don't know about amino acids is how deeply powerful these this protein is. And there's, there's many of them. I think there's about 28 amino acids. And I'm going to break this up. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to get a studio ready so I can have a ring light and do videos on this uh, about the importance of amino acids and supplementation. They are a power, I would consider a brain power drug. Um, and that's how I use them. Um, now, I'll just give an example of a, of a, a, a let's say, drug a very legal amino acid called tryptophan, which used to be prescribed by psychiatrists in the 70s for uh, patients with depression. And then that got removed and Pro Prozac take, took over. So a humble little amino acid called tryptophan was prescribed to mental patients. Okay, so you can imagine power of this simple little amino acid it's been around for forever uh called tryptophan and tryptophan is an amino acid that goes straight to the brain blood barrier and it is a serotonin driven amino acid so i'll be discussing how there are serotonin based aminos dopamine based aminos and endorphin based aminos and this is what people don't know about amino acids. So you think bodybuilding, amino acids, uh, taurine, tyrosine, theanine, you know, all the basic ones that you think, uh, uh, well, not you, that you think that you would associate with bodybuilding, but that's only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to amino acids. They fall within the category of the, the brain chemistry and also to function in a healthy way is um, good levels of serotonin and, and dopamine and your endorphins are in, all, all nice and balanced. So without fixing the nervous system, no matter what you've been through, there is no healing. And that's just a fact. Okay, we can talk, you can talk your problems and your traumas till you're blue in the face. We need to heal our nervous systems. And I found the magic bullet to the nervous system, all the literature's there. 
it is uh, all the literature about amino acids and what they do for the brain. It's all out there. And then you wonder, well, why isn't it prescribed? Why don't doctors prescribe it, etc.? cetera? Um, why isn't it a, a, a medicine and a medication? Well, the simple answer to that is that uh, amino acids can't be painted. But they do uh, possess all the necessary proteins for brain health and gut health. So in a form of supplementation like I do, um, I feel like I have no brain fog. My my cognitive abilities are very sharp. Um, now I've been doing this for six months, and I've I've tried. Okay, my main ones are so. Again, I'll do other videos on this because it's it's complicated, but it's also very simple. Your dopamine and your serotonin has to be in balance. If you've got too much serotonin in in, in the brain. And too much is happening on the side of the serotonin and it's not balanced out with dopamine, you can get quite lazy and uh, procrastinate. So you don't feel bad, uh, but you don't feel bad not doing anything and that's when your serotonin's too high. Dopamine, on, on the other hand, means that you, you, you go too hard and then you crash and burn. So you've you got to balance the two out. And then you've got your endorphins that you tend to get from exercising and stuff and, you know, just that feel good, which comes from um, L-phenylalanine and D-L-phenylalanine, which is another um, amino, and L-theanine. So you can see it's quite complex, but once it's um, broken down and compartmentalised what these amino acids do, it's very simple. So um, I started training um, in like in a group setting with, about, um, with a trainer and about 10 uh, uh, trainees, <laughs> 10 clients, 10 other people training with the personal trainer. And um, it was really good to start me back, sort of kickstart my body. Uh, I think I started that about six or seven months ago, but I wasn't really regular with going. So I joined an, a gym where I can go at my own time because these were set times and I couldn't make it. So joined a gym and going without a personal trainer also I was a personal trainer for 15 years ran a business as a personal trainer and I finally knew about the amino acids back then because I think I only knew about tyrosine and taurine back then and that's really just the tip of the iceberg <laughs> people taking amino acids not realizing so people take a, a drink so even a red bull a red bull drink has about 2,000 milligrams of taurine in it which is really very high dose and all the issues associated with Red Bull and those power energy drinks is because it's mixed with other crap in there. So it's not actually amino acid that's the issue. It's all the other stuff that is mixed with um, the the glucose and the, the caffeine and all the other rubbish that's in it. So pure amino acids or pure taurine is, is great for the body, for training especially. So that's in the dopamine category. Um, all right, so started training on my own without the trainer this time and so I'll dose up on the I'll stack my amino acids with the taurine uh, theanine tyrosine glutamine and I'll take some glynac which is glycine and, and I'll settle in and I <laughs> it's unbelievable so I ride my bike to the gym and I'm not even puffing there's not even a <sighs> nothing I start training and without amino acids, this is what the training experience is for me. I'd say a lot of people that you're sort of pushing through it and you can't wait for it to stop, right? Okay, I've got another 15 minutes left, another 20 minutes left. When you're stacking with the amino acids and you know what you're doing, you know what you're taking in, you're chomping at the bit on as to which machine you're going to go on next or what's next, or what does your body need next. It's such a – amino acids is such a – Sometimes I would say subtle, but I think that they are subtle, but sometimes it's just a direct feeling you feel. <clears throat> it's not psychosomatic. It's actually <laughs> your body's experiencing this. And then so you've taken the amino acids, you've trained, and now your endorphins are very, very happy in the body. You keep this up. The problem is with trauma and healing from trauma and uh bad foods and just really bad habits and not getting out of the comfort zone 
is called a comfort zone for a reason because it's very comfortable there. Once you push yourself out of the comfort zone with the with the help of amino acids, you're entering a different realm, something that feels uh, very, very powerful within yourself, something you can't really describe. You feel it, you're in the zone, and it's about getting there. It's not, it's not just a... Uh, um, it's, it's hard to explain because if someone's listening to this and they're in a really uh, low state, low vibrational state, it's hard to hear this. It's hard to fathom that that's a possibility. Uh, I, don't, I don't personally think training's enough, um, although it is. <laughs> training's great. Eating well is great. And you can get a lot of amino acids from, from a good diet. But supplementing with amino acids and, and balancing out the, the dopamine, the serotonin that create beautiful endorphins in the body is what real true healing is it's like i said that's the your nervous system what happens when you have a traumatic e event your your nervous system shot um, and it can be shot for years after the event uh, through triggers through uh um you know even in just daily activities it causes um lethargy um, laziness, procrastination, all that is the nervous system. And all the negativity too. I'd say all this negativity in the world right now, which is off the show, is uh, people's nervous systems are shot. People are too in their comfort zones. And the world's built now that it's too easy to be in one's comfort zone by means of um, crap foods on every corner, <clears throat> um, our, our phones, devices, there's always a distraction from the self, which is it's funny because it's actually making the nervous system worse. So the more you ignore healing the nervous system, the worse the nervous system is going to get, which causes major stress to the body, faster aging, other health issues, heart issues, brain issues. Uh, it, it really is all tied in and it's very, <clears throat> once it's tackled, with the right tools, it can be fixed. But everything's just too spread out, too compartmentalized. Okay, you've got to get therapy or go to the gym or eat better. But there is a missing piece, and that is fixing and consciously understanding that it is your nervous system is shot. Right, so I will do more. Um, work on and um, discussion and videos about amino acids. Can't wait to introduce them to the world. Um, they are shelved, so they are still readily available. You can buy them online mainly. Some uh, 5-HTP tryptophan are going to be removed from shelves because people are taking them while they're on antidepressants. And you can't take tryptophan or 5-HTP while on an antidepressant. Now you think about that. Antidepressants work with at the uh, serotonin reuptake in the brain. How it works, I don't really know. It doesn't create it in the brain. It actually sort of blocks certain areas where shit's leaking out. Something like that. I'm not a scientist, I don't know. But 5-HTP and tryptophan interfere with that. Why? Because 5-HTP and tryptophan are serotonin elevators brain to blood barrier they cross through and they create serotonin in the brain so one must not take 5-htp or tryptophan with ssri's antidepressants but people don't know this so um i'm also i mentioned before that i was a personal trainer for 15 years um i went on to other endeavors i'm also certified in nutrition so I will be taking this knowledge with my nutrition tra training because, again, to me, food's great. But the way food is now is really you don't know what you're buying. You don't know what you're getting, all that stuff. We still have to eat, but I think supplementation with pure amino acids is is the key. Um, I'm, I'm living it. I've got great skin, a lot of hair. Um, you know, I'm not even doing a lot of training and I'm going to be doing more and my body's very much intact all those things and i know i can contribute that to the amino acids so 
And that, <clears throat> that's just the external if, effects of the amino acids. They're like beautifiers as well. It's internally what I have experienced with amino acids. It's um, hormone balancing. It's clarity of mind, which I think is really important. Um, it calms your emotions. It helps you critically. They help you critically think better. Um, <clears throat> You don't have that storm brewing in your brain. Um, you don't ruminate. Uh, it's something that commonly a lot of people do. They ruminate about the past or melancholy. I'm telling you, <laughs> these amino acids fix all that because it's all part of the nervous system. All roads don't lead to Rome. All roads lead to the nervous system. And I'm going to be, obviously I'm very passionate about it because I know <laughs> it's the answer to many of life's problems is, is amino acids. So I will do my best to introduce them, to uh, bring them into daily conversation. I put, I have put many of my, my friends on amino acids and they're just as passionate as me once they, they realized and they trusted me. They trusted me <clears throat> because they saw the way I live and the way I am, etc. They're like, oh, okay, bring it on, Helena, what you got for me? And I've introduced amino acids like in a kit at, at parties and put people on them. So, and I haven't even discussed GABA yet. We'll do that in another video. I'll tell you all about GABA, <laughs> which the body produces naturally um, to calm you the hell down and feel good. Uh, that's what alcohol does and what drugs do. So GABA actually <laughs> does the same thing, but I'll discuss it uh, in, in another video. So um, slow and steady and... Uh, just a small power talk, a little pep talk, a little power talk <clears throat> because do you really want to go through life with a shot down nervous system or do you want to fix it? So let's fix it. My goal is to start this platform discussing this. Um, people that know me, I'm also very creative, so I create music and uh, I'm very creative. <laughs> but this is the the body this is another thing too i wanted to mention um with sort of the spiritual community which i'm not denying the spiritual aspect of life that is for certain but this healing diatribe spiritual healing diatribe still can't be done if you don't fix your nervous system because you're still in a meat suit okay you're still a physical body Definitely not denying the spiritual aspect of life. I've got too much proof that that's real. But at the same time, we're still in these meat suits and the, like I said before, all roads lead to your nervous system. So let's get some knowledge. Let me bring you some knowledge. Let me inspire you. Let me show you the way to your nervous system. Thanks for listening. Uh, I can't at the moment say when my next video is going to be. I'm just going to be intuitively doing this and posting videos about it until I'm ready to take it to the next level because ultimately I want people to come to me and consult with me and I will counsel them through uh, amino acids. There's certain things I can't go near. I can't, I can't cancel um, or coach people that are on antidepressants or on thyroid medication. People are taking medications. Um, these are contra. There's a word for it. Contra. They contradict <laughs> other uh, medica medications. The reason being, why do you think amino acids are going to contradict or interfere with medications? Because they're powerful and they work. If they were just a, a, a vitamin that you take with an antidepressant, or a vitamin that you take with a um, a, a, th a thyroid medication, it wouldn't be an issue. But it is strict that one mustn't take certain amino acids with these medications. What does that tell you? These are powerful um, medicines, these amino acids. So, yeah, I look forward to um, 
bringing this forward more. This might just my little power pep talk for now, and there'll be more to come. Thanks for listening. Rise above.